semifinale numero 2, 100 metri uomini. So then Cheng Po Yu of Chinese Taipei goes in lane one. It would be a shock to say the least if they managed to pull it out of the bag again. Anna Thomas of Great Britain. Around 10.47. In a zero wind, he qualified as one of the fastest losers for this stage. Jan Volko. This European indoor champion this year at 60 metres goes in lane three. Juan Carlo Alanis Prieto of Mexico goes in lane four. Then Daisuke Miyamoto of Japan has a personal best of 10.23. Not quite in that form at the moment. Here is Pereiro Nascimento. Just seen his uh, teammate blaze through the first of these semi-finals. Can he do the same thing? He ran 10.38, which was 600 slower than his teammate in the heats. Zadnek Stromsik of uh, the Czech Republic in lane seven. And on the outside, Juan Dayun of China, who ran 10.39 to qualify by right. It was the sixth fastest time in the heats. But he's in lane eight. Fastest personal best is Volko with 10.13. But that's only just faster than Pereira do Nascimento by just a hundredth. So watch for those two. Let's hope we get off to a cleaner start this time. So. The gun goes and they're out of the blocks and Volko is into his running as you would expect very quickly but he's not the fastest one away. Fastest one away is Miyamoto. Miyamoto running and Miyamoto's going to take it and Volko has been run out of it into third place. 10.37. It's not as quick as the first heat but don't forget that uh, the first was run in 10.2 but there was a big gap from the winner. Nascimento back to the rest of them. Just remind you that the first semi-final was... Well, Pereira do Nascimento joins his teammate going through. He got second place, I think, there. But that was a terrific race by Miyamoto of Japan. Three men in this semi-final who have all gone faster than him in their lifetimes, but he managed to pull it out of the bag in this race. Really fast leg speed, really keeps it going. Holds the top speed as he heads towards the latter part of the race. And you can see the work that... Dornasiamento is having to do just to keep up with him. Japan have always been strong at sprinting, particularly in relay running. They are very good at that. Very good run. And Volko there didn't actually get as good a start as I thought. It was Miyamoto who absolutely flew out of the blocks. Volko was in trouble and then he was playing catch up and it's 10.39 which means at this stage he would be reach the final it means that uh, Bruno Dede of Japan can no longer get there from the first heat Nascimento and Miyamoto and uh, Nascimento has been given the win I think that's a little bit surprising so we'll see the results of the Miyamoto just done on the dip marginally but he knew he'd got it. No uh, man from Chinese Taipei in the final this time around. So they will be handing over the title to another nation and another university. And we'll be waiting for the third semi-final to start. Allora il battito delle mani per Bodrega. Salto in alto, Lituania. Fourth place was uh, Juan Da Jun, and uh, that is not going to be fast enough to displace Carlo.